In Chesterfield, the heroin epidemic is the worst it's been in years. Police say in just the past two months, there have been more than 40 overdoses and 10 deaths. One of them was 26-year-old Travis Garris, who lost his battle to heroin addiction just last week. Tonight, a vigil was held for him and other victims at the McShen Foundation in Henrico. Brittany McDonald was at that vigil and spoke to Travis's family as they watched another loved one battle a heroin addiction. Brittany? Yeah, that's right, Sabrina. While Travis's family mourns for him, they're also holding on to hope that his sister survives because she actually overdosed just days before Travis died. It's a tragic addiction that plagues this family and so many others across the state. Oh God. It was difficult for Savannah Berlingeri to hold back tears Tuesday, just days after losing her 26-year-old brother Travis Garris to a heroin overdose. He's had an addiction for a long time. Uh, he's been in and out of jail, in and out of rehab, and we were hoping that his son was going to change him, and um, it just it, it didn't. Travis had just become a father, but had been struggling with heroin for the past year. After surviving two prior overdoses, his son's mother found him dead in their Chesterfield home Friday. And this third time I couldn't save him, I wasn't there. When she come back, he was slumped over on the bed and she said he was blue. And she called the paramedics and they worked on him 30 minutes and they couldn't bring him back. Travis's aunt, sister and girlfriend spoke bravely in front of a crowd gathered outside the nonprofit recovery organization, the McShin Foundation, as part of a candlelight vigil for victims of heroin. My nephew overdosed, he dead. Just two days before Travis's death, his 20-year-old sister Taylor Garris was rushed to the hospital after a heroin overdose of her own. That's where she remains, fighting to survive. We definitely want to break the cycle of this. It's a waiting game with Taylor right now. While they hold on to hope Taylor will make it through, they make plans to lay Travis to rest. Yesterday I had to go pick out a casket. I never in a million years dreamed that I would be going to make funeral arrangements for my 26 year old nephew. And so I'm so lucky that I have my son, but will miss Travis every single day. Travis's funeral is set for next Wednesday, but the good news in all of this is there were plenty of former addicts in the crowd tonight, many who survived and recovered. The McShin Foundation is a great resource if you or someone you know is still struggling. We have information on that posted over on our website. On your side, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.